Hello YouTube and welcome to the Dojo, you're Samurai Man, and today we have these the Shuriken Sentai Ninja Surfer Maru or Surf Maru, whoever it goes, I don't really remember. But yes, he is a aquatic type design. It's interesting that before we had Pal Maru, who I guess would be like earth-based, he's land-based, and then we have UFO Maru, who's flight-based in space, you know. And then now we have Surfer Maru, who is aquatic based. He's like a giant submarine. So very cool. I actually really like this design, it's a very unique design i like the, the submarine feel to it i really like here if the front you can see he's got two metallic blue eyes he's got that same ninja logo on gold and then if you look at the waist area for the robot this is going to be in the robot section he's got like a spiky shark teeth and i really do like that they're not quite lined up but i do like the shark teeth they got going on that looks really nice i, I like that that's a unique little thought that i wouldn't think to have so it's cool that they did that and he has like the the scope here which i think they call it like the periscope or something where you'll, you you look up and you see what's in on top of the surface of the water got a little bit of a blue detail there for that so very nice very nice indeed i like how i've got like fins here and here you know it really looks like he's made for the water he's going to swim through very fast come around the bottom i like this purple they have the, the violet it very much reminds me of the the violet ranger from kyo ruger if anyone has seen that series, a lot of that, the Plezuo, that same type of purple plastic. It's not exactly the same, but it reminds me a lot of that. And then if you come around the top, very cool. We got the, the, the Ninja logo here as well with that same pattern. So very well done. Uh, you could tell they're going for a submarine look, and it comes across very well. And then you got this here. You could spin it. I don't know. It makes it look like he's moving. You can roll it. He rolls very nice. Very smooth rolling, so that's cool. And if you want, he, again... You can push the button on the back and it'll make some sounds. Surfer Maru. Otomanin Shuriken. Surfer Ja. With some like classic surfer music that you see in every type of surfer movie and such. So I like that. That's very cool. So very nice. Just taking a quick look at the Surfer Madu design here we got on the back, just like with all of them. He does have like a wave going across. He's like he's a surfer. So that's cool. I do like that. I like how they, they kept it to the motif. And then he's got kanji here, which I'm assuming assuming means surfer. I could be wrong, not really sure, but I don't know, maybe. I do like this this blade here. This blade looks really cool. It looks like it can do some real damage. Very nice. So to transform this guy into his little humanoid mode, we'll go ahead and just detach him. He tabs at the bottom at the f and at the front. So you want to get this off. We'll go ahead and flip in these wheels here, get them out of the way. And then we'll flip out this top part here. It's clipped in. And it makes a nice, really cool looking surfboard, which I'll go over in a sec. So put that off the side. Then we can take here our Surfer Maru, flip the, the hips around. There you go. They're all connected. The feet are connected. You can see there. So there's that. Flip the feet up and then rotate the arms down. And then you bring up the head. Very cool looking head, which we'll go over in a sec. I like that design. And there you go. There is our Surfer Maru. So, really quick, we'll start with this, the surfboard. I love this surfboard, by the way. It looks amazing. I like the, the red and yellow flame details we got going on. That looks cool. Got the, again, that ninja star right there. And here we have three different faces. The way this works is you can clip on the, the different zords onto this board and the way it works is they got a face for this is what we should have Kenjin this is his face so that means you use this clip to clip in his foot then we have Bison King's face right there so use Bison King's foot to go into this clip and then if you want to clip in your Surfer Maru you got his face right there so you would use this clip so just to show off you clip him in the bottom right there there you go and you can see he's at an angle he's supposed to be at an angle because what you can do is using the articulation Kind of get him at a surfing angle. There you go. Now it looks like he, he might go, you know, surfing. So not bad. I like how that, that works out. Not too bad. You could take the shuriken here. And if you want, you could... Well, you actually, no, you can't put it back on because then, you know, it'll lift him off the ground. So that won't work. But still, very nice. It rolls very smooth. So now we got Surfer Maru in his full potential. Very nice. And then let's see. Nope. They never make it where you could put the, the thing on there. But whatever. Whatever's very nice overall. I, I think this is a great design. So let's look at the face. So taking a close look at Surfer Maru, I really do like his head design. It looks really cool. He's got a scuba gear going on. He's got or not scuba, but like snorkeling gear. He's got the snorkeling, like I guess pipe right here, so he can breathe. And then there at the front, I like the shape of the eyes. They're very unique. He's got it's like a goggle shape around his eyes, so that's cool. He's got the Shuriken logo still up there. 
So it's very an interesting design that I, I wouldn't expect to see on a Super Sentai toy, but I like it nonetheless. He kind of looks like a villain, to be honest, like like a little minion type villain. Like maybe he's like not like a putty, but one of those expendables is what I'm trying to say. But like one of those, he's definitely got that vibe going on for me. So very cool. I do like that. It's very unique. So just to show off, you can see all three of the auxiliary swords we have up till now and how different they are. One's an elephant, one's a UFO, one's one's a submarine, as I said before. And it's just, they, they are really just like, I don't know where they're getting these ideas from for this show, but it's a really wacky show if you haven't seen it. I haven't seen any of it, but I know it's wacky. I've heard a lot about it. And just based off the toys they got, you can tell they're, it, it, the designs are all over the place. So, and not bad. They're not bad looking. It's just different. It's really different. Give me a big Gokaiger feel. It feels a lot like Gokaiger where they just took so many different ideas and just put it into one. So I like the colors, as you can see, the very nice color palette we got going on, and the very different, unique designs. I could see where they get the UFO, I could see where they get the elephant, but a surf, surfing, like, submarine-type design totally caught me off guard. The submarine I could see, they've done submarines before, but the, the idea to make it like a surfer guy, that caught me off guard, but I like it. So you can see I got all three of the auxiliary mechs in their little robot modes, and they all look fantastic. I'm really liking them. They look great together. I like the colors. I love how they all have the Ninja logo on them. I love how they all have a little bit of gold on them. So you definitely know which toy line they belong in, so that's great. So all around, great stuff. I can't wait to have the whole set of the Ninja toys. They're just looking fabulous together. So taking our little Surfer Maru, we'll go ahead and remove the Ninja Star, as always. And then we'll move the front part, which has, you know... I guess the actual Surfer, surfer Maru. Take the the surfboard, flatten it out, get in position. So here you can see, we got the Shurikenjin face right there. So obviously Shurikenjin is gonna be the one to sit in it. And then we got you know Bison over here, Bison King, and then Shuriken Maru. And then there you go, just lock it in place. Make sure that tab locks in. Keep it solid. Transform Shuriken Maru into his robot form. Pew. And flip up the legs so that way this time he can sit. And then go ahead and just line him up into place. Get his arms around these little handles. There you go. Make sure it's all tabbed in. Nicely nice. Next, we'll get the feet in. There is a one little tab at the bottom of the pink foot. And there's one at the bottom of the white foot. Just depending on which foot you want in there, just make sure you line it up. I don't know why I can't find it. I see it. I just can't get it lined up. Uh, there we go. And yeah, the only bad thing is he only has that one tab. Or at least there's only one tab on the board for one foot. So he'll stay like that. As long as you don't mess with it, he'll stay. But you can't really get too many crazy poses just because he will fall off. But anyways, let's go and get things going. Kablam! Very cool. I do like that sound effect, that classic surfer music. Whenever you see like any type of surfer movie, it's always like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Reminds me a lot of Third Rock for the Sun. If you watch that show, awesome! Because I love that show. I've seen it so many times. It's a really great show. They have similar music for their their show. They have that that. Doo -doo 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 -doo, but they they do it in like a different kind of way. But yeah, it reminds me a lot of that. Every time I hear this music, I think of Third Rock from the Sun. So that's really awesome. But you can see he does stand on the board with no problem. It rolls very smoothly. It's very smooth considering like he's got all this chunk on him. But cool. Uh, like I said, there's only one foot that tabs in, so you can't really get too much. I mean, you can make some poses, but he won't stay. You can see he's wanting to fall over. If I let go, he will fall over. But if you want to like get a, something to hold him up, prop him up, you can do that. Get a good picture in. That'd be nice. So. You can definitely get those poses you, with the, with the good articulation of the legs. Just make sure to be careful with it. But yeah, not bad. So there he is, the surfer. Now let's take a look at that awesome face. Because it's probably my favorite face of the, the auxiliary zord so far. So there is Shurikenjin surfer. You can see, hopefully you can see the face. Because he does have this cool looking... He's got the ninja star with a surfboard under it angled. I do like that. That's really cool. I like that design. The face looks freaking awesome. I love that giant big tooth smile. He's got that shark vibe going on and it looks awesome. The little beady green eyes and everything. That is it's totally working for me. Probably my favorite like of the bunch so far. We'll see once we get the 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 T-Rex. 
auxiliary zord because i know that one's supposed to be pretty cool i've seen some pictures he's supposed to be he looks red in pictures but i've seen like in hand pictures and he looks orange i hope he's orange just to keep the color diverse but yeah we'll see how that one goes because that one i'm pretty sure has a cool face also but so far this face is my favorite that looks so awesome i, I love that i so love that and I love the little submarine motif we got going on also with the Surfer Maru. Makes his chest pop out a little, so that's cool. So very nice. I really do like this. I like the purple. It's a very nice purple. So just to show off, he is, Surfer Maru is compatible with the Bison King. So again, we've got that Bison King picture right here. So you know you want to use this tab. And then just get the foot on top. There are tabs at the bottom of these big old feet. And there you go. And I don't know if this one tabs in. Maybe it does. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Let me see. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. They're shaped differently. Or they're positioned differently. So, again, he can only get one foot in, just like with, with Shudokenjin. But there you go. There's the Bison King. He's on the surfboard. Doesn't make any different sound effects. The same sound effects, but there you go. And then if you come around to the back, just to see what it looks like. You are. That's what, you know, feet look like. Yeah, but flat now. It's not like uh, when you have the Rodeo Mario, I think his name is. You fold them up. It's not like that. It doesn't fold up quite like that. I mean, you can, but not all the way. It only goes up that much. It doesn't look too bad either, actually, if you want to keep it like that. So there you go. There he is. Bison King Surfer Maru. He's a big old. He's like Muscle Beach. He's going to Muscle Beach right now. That's what it looks like. So guys, I have to say this is a great addition to the set. It is very unique. I've never seen again. Like I said, I don't really see any surfer type things going on. The only thing that comes to mind that is surfer-ish is, is the uh, Abba Ranger. That's Dino Thunder. When the, the, the they link up with the Stegosaurus. That's like the only thing that comes to mind that's surfer-ish. I think they had like a wave in the background for that one. I think it was supposed to be like they were surfing. But that's about it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. As well as follow me on Tumblr and Twitter at Vacation. And Instagram at Mechas of Iron Heart. We find all my pictures, these and purchases, who's making what, what's coming out, all that great stuff and more. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.